the all the diverse all the all the different type of the teachings of in the bajrayanas and what is actually in the bottom line what is actually the essence or what i really need to understand what i really need to understand before i you know beginning to practice and um, i know that many of us we feel difficult to you know learn something new but actually is a kind of similar to anything that we learn new is don't worry about you know in the beginning that you don't understand fully but then you're going to be mature in it through the experience and understandings and readings and listening contemplating and practicing you're going to be much more familiarized and more natural towards the path going to be happened such as when we drive when we learning to drive learning to bicycle you know we need to keep in mind few things the journey where begins where where is where is my destination and how to go when emergency thing happens we need to learn to brake sometime we need to uh, uh, right or drive or ride faster sometime we need to turn so all this um um things is similar uh, when we driving and bicycling and similarly when we go into bajayana practice is very similar like that we need to learn uh, where we began where we what is the journey where is the destination how to enhance how to dispel obstacles how to enhance our practices how uh, to check my practice and my journey is correct and we uh, to learn to learn to balance uh, with the path with uh, yourself not to become the obstacles to the path whatever we do so sometimes we need to encourage ourselves and sometimes we need to um watch our pride because we need to we are too proud beings we not seeing so all that constantly we need to learn to check and learn to um not to judge but not not uh, need to know the noticing measuring but not with the hope and fear through the through the measuring but measure the correctly with the progressing so it's all balance correctly is the right way <clears throat> to practice and the balance is sometimes comes very natural to some people some are not natural some a very diff- different type of people backgrounds and karmic past life karmic accumulation merit accumulation negative karmas and our habits so that really changes our in our practice in bajayana path so that's why we need to have a lot of different components in the path such as motivation one number one accumulation accumulation of merit is number two meditation number three um our code of conduct or behaviors 
Number four, recognition, to recognize the journey and then recognize the nature of mind or recognize nature of the Buddhahood, but the journey itself, this kind of components, number five, this kind of components is very important. And so we learn one by one, we practice one by one. Then after all going to be come into right place, like a puzzle. So first you need to have um, puzzle of 50 puzzles that can make a beautiful picture of stupa. So first we need to learn to picture with the stupa and put the puzzle. After with the patience, with the um, try and error many times and with the joy, with your puzzle practice, with the playing with the puzzles, then you could have a whole picture after. But when you lose one opponent, one piece of the puzzle, you know could have a complete picture. So that's why this kind of components, this kind of pieces of the path and journey is very important, very, very important. Every teachings of the Buddha, Shakyamuni, Buddha Bajadara, Sambandabhadara Buddha, all until our teacher, they teach different components, different pieces to follow by the disciples who interest to the go to the journey. But when the disciple or the practitioner choose the apostles, but not the practicing all, but just choosing one component can be benefit very much. But you're not going to have whole picture of the, the puzzles, the whole stupa picture, you're not going to be there. That's why many of you that I know, we have habits to choose always what we like and what we don't like from sound, sight, taste, feeling, emotions, friendship, family, place, house, and all the things that we have. Physically, emotionally, and now automatically you're going to have this same pattern going to happen in spirituality, in spiritually. So I'm going to request to all of you that component, that style of choosing what we like, we should not bring to the spiritually path. Myself, I progress very much through my journey in my practice because of two things that I have always, I keep in myself. One, I have my mind only in one place. It's like looking at target. Like you want to shoot at bullseye target, you only have one things to look. That is the target, not in the right, not in left, just the target. Likewise, my target is what is the, the real um, bottom line? What is the meaning? What is the key meaning? What is the real key meaning of the practice? I only think of this key, key meaning. I don't fall into stories. I don't fall into explanations. I'm not worried about all these different, different extra things. I always look for the key. So that is one thing that i am become very useful to my journey because of that, uh, that thing that I keep in always. And number second that I 
always rem remember and remind and I'm and very natural to us is I do practice everything that is mentioned to the journey. I don't choose. I don't choose what I like and what I don't like. But how I choose my practice is, for example, such as when I do one hour session, I do, for example, refuge, bodhicitta, my guru devotion, meditation, my idam practice. But when I see in the beginning type, beginning time, when I see my motivation is not pure, my motivation is not clean, not sincere, then I put more time towards the motivation. So I don't do things with what I like to do. I do things that what I need to do. So this is a really big difference for me in my journey. And I seen a lot of times my Dharma brothers and sisters that I met, the people who are practical and very intelligent towards Intelligent means not education. Intelligent means by naturally they know the key. They know how to apply correctly, not by the mood. They're always quite okay with the journey in practice. When the people are too much into their like and their dislike, um, their practice is always is up, down, up, down, up, down, like as the mood that when, you know, what they have. So, I know that is, you know, I single um, um, things that I'm mentioning today, these two important points, learn the key and do what you need to do is the two things, learn the key and do the what need to do. This is the two key points that I always, now I'm become very natural to in this because I'm doing this for so many years. So I really think I really think I'm I, I am progress. I, I have that confident. So I saying that many of you please keep in mind of this two key. So yesterday I give these teachings because the uh, dear Father Rinpoche passed away and uh, yesterday is a seven week past. So we had a very good uh, celebration and all the different very good prayers. And today is a Pari Nirvana anniversary of my uh, root teacher, uh, he passed away in 1996. So now it's already 2001 or already 2020 20 and now the 21. So Rinpoche, birth in this world, uh, 2020 is the 101 century anniversary. So today we finishing our, we finish our uh, nine days a great accomplishment uh, practice that include the, the Guru Rinpoche, the dispelling all obstacles through the Parjit Kunser with the peaceful 42 Buddhas and the 58 wrathful Buddhas together two numbers 42 and 58 is 100 buddhas peaceful and wrathful buddhas with the 12 manifestation guru rinpoche combined we did this for all together nine days 
the main practice of one week, all together nine days. Today we finish. So very, very auspicious happenly. This kind of accomplishment actually Mahanguru Padma Sambhava teaches in um, the Lamri Mishin Himpo. And is Mahayoga one way to enhancing uh, individual practitioners who's doing bhajana path for practices and Mahanguru and the Mahayoga Tantri, Tantra teaches to combine with the different yogis and yoginis or the practitioners, male and females or any other sex, combining together um, doing nine days or different longer, more longer than the nine days, the great accomplishment, combining, staying in one place, doing the practice for mantra for 24 hours, prayer and the session for uh, morning, uh, three times in the morning and three times in the night. So that kind of is going to enhance individual practices. Um, people who are beginner, who are not having uh, understand well um, through the practice, understand well. People who have not realized, could realize. People who, who already not dispel the obstacles, could dispel. Uh, practitioner who need to enhance the practice, could be enhanced. People who are going to be achieve the great realization, going to be achieve the realization. So basically, the great accomplishment is like that. It is the whole purpose. Is whole purpose is the um, gathering the practitioners to enhance each other um, realization through com com combined their practice in samadhis and uh, practices. So today, for example, when we are doing uh, the last is going to be the, uh, the white scarf, all the practitioner are going to link the white scarf, khada, like a white scarf, link up all the flowers and uh, white, white scarf and hold the, it's very complicated to explain, but when you see it, I think it's very, very easy. Holding the battle lamb is the aspiration of the battle lamb, making sure that everybody in this mandala going to be enlightened, whoever enlightened first going to be benefit all of each other. So that kind of linkage uh, with the butter lamb when we're doing, um, Nepal did not rain for, I don't know, three months or something like that, starting raining. Then when we do the celebration of auspicious prayer in the end, thunderstorm, this uh, the dragon roar, we say dragon roar, but thunder, what, but thunder, ding, 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 like that. Dragon roar. Then Najikumba mountain area, all snow. And when we all puja finish, we go out, sign shine, nobody need to be, no, no, nobody need to be, go into the wetland, to wet. So all this, Somebody who put a timer accordingly with the pujas happened today. So this is the call coincidence, the great good coincidence of the practice when, 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 when you do this correctly. It's actually a very small coincidence there. I heard much more amazing than this, but it's okay. It's not time to not, not the right time to say this now. So because of this reason, today, Parinirvana of Jabjitrugu Ujjnirambhoche, so I'm 
offering this Vajrayana journey. And I picked important points that is very close to me and very benefit to me. And uh, I know it's not going to be complete journey for whole practice because it's not, cannot be finished in uh, two hours. And after all, finishing two hours is going to be no benefit to you. The best beneficial to the journey is learn a little bit from the beginning and practice, 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 learn a little bit, practice, practice, practice is the best way to learning. Going to the lecturing for two hours and you think you know it, but honestly, you do not, you, you know it in your head, but it does, that does really not mean you know it. So it's very beneficial to listen to talks, but you must practice then the benefit going to be very flourishing. You really can taste the benefit of the Dharma when you really practice genuinely. So now my offering is overview of the student pathway. So the holistic living, I think many of you already heard, is really beneficial to everybody. Uh, happiness, compassion, and dignity. The people who have interest in more into the deeper in the meditation, then they should go into the path of meditation. But it's very interesting that I see some people who no need to learn path of meditation because they already learned. And this is, you know, you going to be a complete learner on path of meditation when you have the realization of nature of mind. Until that, you're always in the path of meditation. So it's nothing to, um, it's no ending of learning. So after path of meditation, then you have interest in Buddhism. Then I actually encourage to learn um, the footstep of the Bodhisattva, the um, Samadhi Raja Sutra's quotations, quotes, that uh, we have a book. I have a book, then be, you know, people can go through this 13 or 14 weeks of program. And um, one, of, one of my really favorite sutra is the shortest sutra, only half page sutra, is a wisdom passing sutra, or some they say wisdom death sutra. I don't know which one is correct translation, but <clears throat> there is a very short one. So this be a program in the Sami Institute, some year. So it's good to study that one. Then after that, you have interest to learn to the path of Vajrayana. So we have two choice. You have traditional Vajrayana is uh, through the four foundation and traditional path for, through the traditional path, meaning um, path of the beginner, the four foundations, then you begin after four foundation finish, then developing stage and like that. And of course you go to program, you practice and you practice a little bit, you know, you, you sort of like uh, that. Uh, the traditional path um, is uh, that then a Nanyana path is a, you have a little bit more time, you age wise and of course life is all impermanence. You really, you don't, you don't know, but people who have don't feel ready right away going to the traditional path, then nine yana path. You know, beginning in three yanas is based in Sutra, Buddha's teachings, then the second three yanas is the outer Vajrayana, is much simpler, much easier, simpler. Then you have inner Tandarayana. The inner Tandarayana and conjunction, we're going to be con uh, joined to the traditional path from the uh, uh, number seven, eight, and nine, nine yana, the number seven, eight, nine, maha, anu, and ati, going to be uh, maha yoga, 
begins, then you begin the traditional Mahavajrayana path. So you're going to see that in the Samye, you have interest, you need to study a little bit. They should have, I'm going to show you later in the slideshow. So now, the very important to understand that the teaching that we have so much that we have you know informations is not because of the buddha want to teach all this because it's there because the sentient beings not able to realize the nature so nature of themselves nature of their mind they're not able to uh, realize they're not able to um, feel confident or dignity so because of that reason the buddha need to teach different way different steps and different people you know they um, different teachings to slowly guide the beings to the journey to see the nature of their own mind. That, that is the Buddha, enlightened. So that's why we usually divide the Buddha's teachings by the, the teacher. So they have the three Buddhas have bestowed three different teachings. So we have three kayas, we actually say. The Nirmana Kaya means the, the Buddha, that beings that are seen by all the, our human being, when the, such as Laga Shakya Muni Buddha, 2,600 years ago. So Buddha, Buddha, Nirmana Kaya Buddha has bestowed the Sutrayana teachings such as the, the, these days, the, the Theravadas, the Mahayanas, you know, different countries that we know, all these different teachings, such as Middle Way School, all that is the Sutrayana teachings. So this is the, the teachings taught by the Buddha in the, the form of Nirvana Kaya. The Sambhubakaya Buddha, the bestow the Vajrayana teachings. So Vajrayana teachings generally Kriya, Upa, Yoga is three, Maha, Anu, Ati. So you have this type. So Sambhubakaya generally giving teachings all the uh, Kriya Yoga, Upa Yoga, Yoga Yoga, Maha Yoga, Anu Yoga, all that five of them taught by Sambhubakaya's Buddha in the Vajrayana Tantras. Dharmakaya Buddha, such as Samhita Bhadara, for example, bestowed the great perfection teaching. Great perfection is the Ati Yoga teaching. So the different teachings, different form of the Buddha's teaching. So form actually means not, not the correct way, but the, the, the teachings base is to, uh, the nature, then is the Dharmakaya. That the teaching is the base of the nature appearances, the Sambhubakaya. The teaching is based with the mind that need to be realized the nature. So that the base is the mind, then is Nirmanakaya. So basically make a simplifier, the teaching based in the nature, then is Dharmakaya. Teaching is the base, is the appearance of the nature. So that is Sambhubakaya, means Vajrayana teachings. The teaching is the base in the mind, then is Nirmanakaya. So this is the three different Buddhas teach different. So that's why you need to understand these things is really uh, make us uh, as a practitioner in the beginning going to be much easier, I hope. So here I just give you the a simple fire of the Maha Yoga because in the uh, the traditional Bajayana path is a very uh, uh, beginning of the Mahayoga path. 
So it's inner Vajrayana, it's a higher Vajrayana Tantra. So, for example, in Tibet, the Vajrayana teachings uh, uh, given in Tibet is a very strongly um, uh, emphasized and taught uh, the inner Vajrayana. So that's why olden time Nyingma tradition, such as the Guru Rinpoche, Bhimala Mitra, and all the different great masters who came 1,300 or 200 years ago in Tibet. So it's a Mahayoga, it's a Guya Garbha Tantra or the Mahayoga is very strongly taught. So that's why just to give you a simple idea of Vajrayana lineage, meaning the Mahayoga lineage now, Samadhar Bhadar Buddha to the five Buddha's family, then five Buddha family to the three permanent teacher, Vajrapani, Minzushiri, and Avalokiteshwara. So the Vajrapani uh, taught to the non-human being realm or, or the human beings like us. Uh, Minzushiri to the taught to the devas, means the god realm, to the god realm Vajrayana practitioners. And Avalokiteshwara taught to the Nagas, the Nagas practitioner of Vajrayanas. So it's a very strong permanently. Um, these three uh, teacher brought the Vajrayana to three different level of uh, beings, the God realm, the Naga realm, the human realm, then the non-human realms. So the Vajrapani uh, to taught to the five disciples in the Mount Malaya. Mount Malaya right now is in Sri Lanka. Right now the Sri Lanka, the country of Sri Lanka, these days call the Sri Lankan people call the mountain called Sri Bata. And uh, the Christians, the Muslims, they call Adam's Peak. And um, in the Vajrayana uh, way of uh, recognizing the mountain called the Mount Malaya. In there, the five disciples, the one is uh, God, one is Naga, one is non-human being, one is the kind of Yaksha, one is human being, the five of them and receiving a teachings from the Vajrapani of the Vajrayana teachings, especially the Mahayoga and Anyoga. Then the Mahayoga teaching, they put in the text by the, this uh, Yaksha disciple, Yaksha means cannibal disciple. He wrote in the text, the text is uh, fall onto the Indian subcontinent, the Indian country. Uh, the king of uh, the, the king named King Ja. So then King Ja from there then begins the the teachings of the Maha Yoga, the Guya Garbha Tantra. So for example, like Guru Rinpoche, is so permanent important teacher, and the life story of Guru Rinpoche receiving teachings of the Guya Garbha Tantra from Vajrapani in Sri Lanka, exactly spot is the Mount Malaya. So that's why the, the Vajrayana lineages have many. This is just a one of giving you a highlight that what we're doing now, what we're practicing now is we are actually doing, we are relating our practice to these Buddhas. So that is very important. We're not doing some homework or Pacho Ramboche or some teachings of Chuju Lingba or some sub some sub teachers or sub this this that that it is completely you making the value that Vajrayana has you not able to see it correctly. So this is very important to see. So they have these three names, Bajrayana, Mantrayana, Tantrayana. It's, I thought not so necessary to say these names, but I thought it's just a simple, I should mention about it. 
Bajra actually means wisdom or nature. Yana means the path of wisdom or the path of the nature. Mantra means man means mind. Tra means protect. The protect the mind. The yana means path. The path of the protecting the mind. Tantra means continuums. Continuum meaning our nature is unbroken. Our nature is continuum. So seeing the nature that is continuous all the time within us. How much we do negative, nature not going to be lost. So that's why the Tantra means continuum of the nature. The Buddha is always being there. The Yana means seeing the continuum, the Buddha. So Vajrayana, Mandrayana, the Tantrayana. Now what is the view? In the teachings, the view is a very, very important. So basically here, I put two things. Is a mention in the many teachings of the great masters, such as Java Long Chamber. Or Java Long Chamber highlight this view because of the many tantras taught by the Buddhas in the Vajrayana tantras teaches like that. So I put a simplifier in English here. So basically the differences of the Sutrayana and the Vajrayana is it really changes from the view from the beginning. So now any of you want to practice Vajrayana or already practicing Vajrayana this view need to be checked. You need to check your understanding, how you think, how you're reminding yourself in practice. This is the view means. View means you need to remind each time, each day, each session. So that is the nature of mind is seen as the cause of enlightenment. That is the, the view of Sutrayana. Basically means I have the seed of the Buddhahood, but I don't I don't have right now the Buddha in, in the nature of my mind, but I have the seed of the Buddha. So I need to practice the seed going to uh, gain, grow, and seed going to be completely flourish, then I'm going to be enlightened. So that is the Sutrayana view. Many of us, we don't have confidence in the dignity to our nature. We don't trust our nature. That we judge by how we are now, but we never look beyond ourselves. Basically means go beyond our, ourselves to look at the nature of our mind. So the Sudhariana view is nature of mind is clean, is, is a seed of enlightenment, but it's not the Buddha itself yet. The nature of the mind, the Vajrayana is, says, the nature of mind is seen as the Buddha. Means that the Buddha is already in the nature of mind. Our nature of mind is the Buddha. So that is the very, very important two different. That's why for me, for as myself, I practice many Sudrayana path important practices such as learning to uh, watch my action in karma, such as 10 virtue and non-virtue. I practice for immeasurables, such as loving kindness and compassions. Especially I practice bodhicitta. I practice uh, 
Tonglen, giving and taking. All this is the essence of the Sutrayana teachings in the path. I do practice every day, but my view that I keep is the, my nature, nature of my mind is the Buddha. My nature is the Buddha, is my view. So I don't lose my view, but I practice the Sudriyana path and the methods and skillful means to gain the realization of the Buddha that already presents in our my nature. So that is the way to practice in the Bajayana. So my dear teacher explained to me when I beginning to the Bajayana path. I'm so confused. They have this guru practice, yidam practice, dakini practice, protector practice, this, that, this, this, sadhana, that sadhana. I know that some of you or many of you who's doing these practices, you all sort of stress into the practice or try to manage your practice every daily. And you feel a lot of guilt and regrets and not able to finish or forget, you know, and we, lo we lose overview or the essence of the path, you know, that we should not do it like that. So we should not lose our essence or the essence of the path. So my dear teacher, when I beginning in the Bajrayana, he taught me like this. He said, the path of the mind and the path of the wisdom, they have two paths. So you use the whole practice is can be understand, can be comprehend can be practiced to changing the mind, can be understood by the mind, can be changed the mind. The whole thing is about the mind, mind is the, the basically like shamatha, compassion, renunciation, mindfulness, all that is the path of the mind. The path of the wisdom compresses two steps, meaning the two different steps. The path of wisdom is the actually the Bajayana path. Okay, so the two different practice begins in the Bajayana focus. Because the path of the wisdom appearances, this such as developing stage, you know, the developing stage. I think it's a better um, translation, I think, sometimes, because visualization is not really compress the, 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 the brings the meaning of the path of the, this particular. So developing, de develop, developing stage, I think, is a little bit not so clear, but that it is okay. So developing stage like visualization practices is the path of the wisdom appearances. What is actually path of the wisdom essence? The second path is the Mahamudra path, the path of the great perfection, the Dzogchen path, basically uh, finding the way, simplicity way to recognize the nature of mind. That is what is already Buddha. So that is the path of the wisdom. So in the Vajrayana, we must practice all these three of them in the, in the beginning. So beginning you focus mainly, mainly in the path of the mind. That's why before you do four foundation, you do four immeasurables, four mind changings, all that because it's the path of the mind. Then in the four foundation, you begin the refuge in, infused with some visualizations. 
So that is not complete visualization of the path of the wisdom, but it's already beginning of pinch of the visualize the path of wisdom appearances already begins from there. Then from there you sort of quiet your mind or uh, through the Dzogchen methods or the Mahamuddha methods, try to learn simple city path, um, sitting in the natural way, letting be, letting go, and uh, seeing the nature of your own mind. And uh, that kind of path is the path of the wisdom essence. So basically, this, what you see right now in the screen, is the compress of the whole journey of Vajrayana in these three, the three points. So I just want to say very simple fire way, because of my topic is a ground, path and fusion. So I need to talk about the ground. Ground means which you where you build your home. So your ground is a steady and very nicely made, then your whole house could be very steady. So as a Vajrayana practitioner, the ground is very important. Ground meaning is actually the nature. What is our nature? What is the nature that we need to begin, begin the practice? So within the Vajrayana, the ground divided to two. So the ground of the view, the ground of the view or the ground of the, what, how need to be you seen in the beginning to practice that we already mentioned, I already mentioned in the beginning. Seeing that the nature of the mind compress of three kayas, meaning you need to see the nature of my mind is already Buddha. The three kaya Buddha, the Dharma kaya, the Sambhuva kaya, the Nirmana kaya is already uh, within the nature of mind. In the nature of mind is the three kaya Buddha. The empty, the vast empty ex expansion of nature, our nature of mind is expense, uh, limitless, no, have no limit expansion of spacious, space, uh, space, space, was why uh, limitless, limitless uh, expansion of spacious space is the ground, uh, how you say, Dharmakaya. In that moment, they have a self-recognition or the self-knowing presence, thought free, a wakefulness is the Sambhubhagaya. From there, inseparable this expansion of space and thought free, a wakefulness presence is, has naturally presence of compassion, that is the Nirmanakaya. So that is already existent within in our mind. This is the Trikaya Buddhas. So now this Buddha is not the Buddha of the statue that what we see, blue color Buddha, we call uh, naked, uh, naked uh, blue color, we say Samanda Bhadra, we see a lot of ornaments, we call Sambhuvakaya, then we see Shakyamuni symbol, monks rope, we see Nirmalakaya. That is the, just what we have now. But when we talk about nature, we don't bring this image of the Buddha into that. Then, is, then you go into the wrong way. So that is the view. The ground of the path is the when you build Bajayana path, this is very important. Profound trust, very trustworthy on karmic consequence. What I do right, what I do wrong, they have much, they are going to have results of that, that I need to go through. The cor correctly understanding, profoundly having trust into karma is number first step of the ground of the path. 
Second, renunciation, knowing the renunciation correctly, applying renunciation um, efficiently, efficiently, uh, uh, renunciation using the, uh, having the renunciation efficiently is the second crown. Knowing the bodhicitta correctly, practicing the bodhicitta, and reflecting yourself into this bodhicitta practice correctly is number three. Keeping the pure perception to all time, all time long, pure perception is number four. So you can see each time is getting more and more difficult towards our practice. Karma is easier, renunciation more difficult, bodhicitta more difficult, pure perception more. That's why they can, you can see why you feel difficult because the very simple thing to say, because our habit is too negative, meaning our habit is too strong. That's why you feel difficult. That's why you need to focus first on karma. You feel more established, more natural. Look at towards the renunciation. You feel more natural. You look at the bodhicitta natural. Then you slowly, pure perception going to become. But you need to keep in the mind of these four, but each of going to help each other. So just to bring a pinch of Maha Yoga Tantra quotation here. Because many of you, um, I want to show you a quotation from Guya Garbha Tantra of the, what we, I, what I explained before, the nature of mind or the view of the, the ground of the Vajrayana or the view of the Vajrayana. So this is the pinch of the quotation from the Goya Garbha Tantra. Sisum yine sang jeshing tamji malu chyo so chok sangji nile shye maing sangji nile shye mbe chyo sangji nige minye so shye jyubi tijin shikpa tamji nye pa chyurdo the three states of existence are primordially Buddha and phenomena without exclusion are not other than the state of Buddha. Phenomena other than the state of Buddha will not be found even by the Buddha himself. Expressing this pleases all the Tathagatas. The three stages existing are the desire, um, the uh, the appearance of the beings, like normally we see God Ram, demigod, you know, the hell beings, you know, this kind of uh, beings. So, existing uh, primordially means from naturally, from there, the already Buddha. So, everything is a Buddha, and Buddha only going to see. Uh, Buddha, but nothing than that. So it's very clear. This is a very clear uh, quotation. So I don't need to explain. You already heard this before. I already explained a few times now. So I know today I cannot give you the whole think that you need, but for myself, that really helps me to my practice in Bajana, and I can grow correctly, I understand correctly because of these things. What are the necessary qualities for practicing Bajayana correctly? So what I really need to have is Understanding the overview, 
presented so far. So I know the Uh, we lost Rinpoche sound. Uh, we will try to recover it uh, as soon as we can. I just lost um, connection. Now I'm back. This is how sometimes happens in our practice too. So we need to help ourselves to reconnect back with the different ways. Okay, understanding the overview presented so far. And honestly, I try my best to make sure that many of you can be benefit through this. Because Bajayana is very, very vast. Actually, more vast than the Sudarayana path. So that's why it's a very simple when you know but when you do not know correctly, it looks very complicated. Okay, so knowing your own faults and wishing to transform them. This I think it is easy to understand. Knowing how to practice your path and hitting the, hitting the essence. So now this is very, very important. My teacher always reminds me in the beginning time, you need to learn your path correctly, of course, but when you practice, when you apply, you need to know how to practice exactly, you know, the point, you know, that like, it's so interesting that I met so many students and I give so many teachings somehow everybody sort of lost into the, 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 the finding the peace. And I have found some of them, then what happened is they don't know how to hit. They always fail somewhere. They, like me, I'm one thing I'm very lucky that I have no bad relationship towards my teacher. I always keep relationship with my teacher correctly. I have no difficulty at all. My um, way of speaking, way of doing correctly, listening time, receiving teachings time, serving time, going to retreat time, you know, my, uh, my self retreat time, anything that I look, I have no regret of my uh, uh, relationship with my teacher. But these days, uh, many of students are not like that. So I think the hitting the essence means you need to 
really focus, you know, bhaja and a path is the knowing the essence of nature of mind, but at the same time, knowing how to help transform yourself gradually, they don't go into the same negative path that we already went through many times. So that's why it's very important knowing the practice, the pit, the, 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 the path and the hitting the essence to really learn how to apply and to really transform yourself. That is the hitting the essence. Hitting the essence means you, you do it, the practice, and you, you, you keep you becoming better and better and better, improving. That means hitting the essence. Practicing, 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 no change at all means you're not hitting the essence. Understanding the journey and how to progress. So now that is very uh, similar link with each other. So you need to learn to progressing through different ways. Then in the future week, I'm going to teach more about it. For now, that is the number four thing you need to just to keep. So now I give you just a basic idea about the, our Bajayana path. In the Bajayana path, I'm going to teach Lambri Mishin Hingo, that is a taught by Nguru Rinpoche, is his own word, revealed by great teacher revealer, Chocho Lingba. So this is the quotation from Lambri Mishin Hingo. The stages of the Toji Lamji Rimba Sam Yi Chang Gyu Jong Sabun Dab Dang Chi Singba Kekser Dang Ne Teishin Bok Dun Te Namba Ngay Yang Da Lam Lang Chung. So basically means the stages of the path that brings about realization are something something. The stages of the path that bring about realization are innumerable. Purify your being, plant the seeds, and nurture them. Remove the hindrances, and likewise bring forth enhancement. Thus, enter the correct path through these five aspects. So these purify your being is the mind trainings. Landed the seed means receiving the empowerment. Nurturing them means then is very big path there. Long many many explanations such as beginning to four foundations. To remove the hindrances is each time you maha yoga practice with developing stage, you see uh, difficulties how to uh, remove uh, obstacles. So this is the type of that. And bring forth enhancement means how to enhance practice. So for enhancement and removing obstacle is I give you some idea. Accumulation merit is the one of the best way to enhancement. I give you an example of, of our uh, seven series of tsombums accumulation merit accumulation merit and uh, fish offering in asura that seven months ago uh, we are began to do it i don't know how much benefit you all have had on your spiritual and your mundane life but for me each tombum finish has changes within my practice improvement improvements and my mundane too, not only just spiritual. And this is not, I'm lying to you. I'm um, being very truthful to you because I'm just beside me. I have my wife here who just read the thing and the, the accumulation tombum is so beneficial. And I believe that many of you, many of you could be benefited. So one way to removing and hindrances and bring forth an enhancement is the compassion really is very very beneficial 
um, to removing obstacles and enhancement. Devotion is very, very good. And accumulation merit is very, very important too. Sometimes you keep merited, 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 you don't have no much progress because of the uh, accumulation, merit, accumulation, compassion, accumulation, devotion is not, not there. That's why your practice is having obstacles and enhancement going to be not there. So that's why hindrance remove and, uh, and enhancement is I give you some idea there, okay? So here I give you the, the beginning of our obstacles. Emmaho deshik nyingbole, range namdo leji tur, tanso letang, longju tang, netang dungan lasopa, dagdan dagir soso jin. So now this is our bad habits begins from like this. This quotation come from the Mahayoga Guya Garba Tantra. Emaho, from within the essence of the Sugatas, confusion occurs. Through karmic causes of each individual's concepts, countless forms and abundance, places, suffering, and so forth, the self and the individualized fixation with the self all emanate. So, from the within the essence of Sukada means that our nature of mind we not realize, because of we not realize, not realize that simple mistake, the simple small ignorant that we had, because of that confusions, that that not re realizing, then from there our individual thoughts. Uh, you and me and action all begins there. Then that's why we have this so many of experiences, uh, countless of sufferings and realms and all this begins because of the symbol not seeing the nature. So beginning this is the within the essence of Sugata because we're not seeing the confusion occurs. The confusion means not seeing the nature. That's why it happens. When you see the nature and that moment that you in nature, you don't have no confusion. The moment you are not seeing the nature, then your confusion begins. So that's why it's like that. It's not created by it, anyone because it arises without not seeing it. So, why so many teachings taught by the Buddha that I mentioned before? So here in Guya Garbha Tantra, the, uh, uh, this quotation come from the, the Buddha give different teachings, not only just teaching of enlightenment or uh, uh, to go free from samsara, but Buddha taught how to be a nice person too. So here is the following um, quotations. It's not that difficult. Tham je jang dita te durvi wangki ladang mi tikwa thang nyen tu ji tikwa thang rang chang chup ji tikwa thang chang chup sen bi tikwa thang la na mi bi tik bi ma rik bi nam par tok ba nyo mong ba tong da ji ju zai fi nyen bo chu tong da ji ju zai fi sung o sung so sung o sung wa ju ro even all vehicles are revealed as follows. In order to tame, there are vehicles of gods and humans, the vehicle of Shravakas, the vehicle of Prateka Buddhas, the vehicle of Bodhisattvas, and the vehicle of Mantra. Due to conceptual ignorance, there are 84,000 passions, and the anecdotes for them are the 84,000 categories of teachings that were taught and will be taught. So, the vehicle of gods and humans, the human vehicle, the human yana, is teaches how to uh, correctly uh, uh, follow the ten virtue, non-virtue. Gods means on top of that, learning specific shamatha meditation, 
to uh, gain suitability to born into got different type of god realms so they have a god realm of uh, form with the god realm they have formless god realms so through the meditative state they can rebirth this is just give you the idea so in nine yanas the shabaka yana the partika buddha yana the bodhisattva yana called sutra yana then the mantra yana that's why in the guya garbha tantra they talk about five yanas this is the five yanas okay so i just give you the highlight so in the bajayana practitioner like me many of you uh, we need to know basic um, uh, things to keep in mind in daily basis in such a say we can say like uh, um, to be mindful of so now this is the basic idea of vajrayana practitioner to be mindful of and uh, we say samaya sometimes this is the very simple and uh, very essential essence so this is taught by um, first chuju dechin shik buling ba first chuju ling ba taught like this rang re ngak pa chu cho la me thuk ma tuk jing ji song ka du ba da chik che jam thal jun jing ngok me che ba da ni ni ma re shin ye dam hlai gom de da sum ek hlai gom de che ju cho cho ma cha ba da sum thik chu ge nyam len chong hing semjing ge so me che ba da shi this is the four points that chu ju ling ba say is good to keep in the mind do not disturb the guru's mind and fulfill their every command do not quarrel with vajra siblings and be honest and sincere towards them practice meditation and recitation of the vidam deity every day never fail to make a feast offering on the 10th day of the lunar month and maintain the practice of treasure cutting through and do not take the life of any sentient beings i know it's a very difficult point in number first point i think many of you are going to say fulfill uh, guru mind disturb then is the guru mind is not uh, stable yet because i can disturb the guru mind no i'm we not talking but our point of view from the practitioner this herbal point of view you need to be mindful how you behave this is the, what they talking about and the full feel their very command because of these days there are so many negatives happen in the world so is a very difficult situation these days but this is not a new thing is already happening for thousand years that's why we need to do right uh, accumulation merit and aspiration each of you to finding the correct and good teacher good guru and correct teacher for you and have the lineage master correctly their practice correctly if they are good practitioners so they not going to have big mistake these things happens these days lot and the second one is so difficult quarreling with the vajra siblings siblings are always happens so many times happens in past is going to happen is going to happen in the future is going to happening now too so whatever happens and happens but you need to be mindful towards my action your action like myself i keep my siblings bajra siblings how much i can i really be mindful okay so um practicing meditation is very important daily they never fall into make uh, how you say fish offering guru day the luna month the mahan guru day and the practicing tikcho meaning the ati yoga meditation that you know how to meditate no you need to do every day that you don't know then uh, try to do how much you can now the last one is so difficult you know do not take any life essential being so then all all the student going to be uh, confused you know sometimes we need to clean we need to kill insects sometimes i need to use poisons to kill and you have so many 
regrets and guilt and worry, you know. So what basically you need to keep in the mind that what we need to be mindful all the time and try to do reduce how much we can and be um, uh, mindful. So basically, this particular quotation gives you the idea about the Bajayana path. Rangyu kusung tuk dan yishi de doji shi ngu nebani sangha lana me be thabgi ki wangur nam shi sabbunda parcha. Since his being abides as the nature of the four Vajras of body, speech, mind, and wisdom, plant the seeds of the four empowerments through the skillful means of the unexcelled secret mantra. So this is talking about, the comes from the quotation from Lamri Mishin Hingbo, Light of Wisdom. So basically our body, our speech, our mind and nature of the mind, our uh, wisdom is actually the Vajra body, mantra, blissfulness and the wisdom already presence. So through our Vajrayana path to going to be recognized and uh, practice all this through our Vajrayana path. So basically they give you some idea, but I'm not going to explain too much. In the future, you're going to have uh, more and more to learn these things. So this is the, the one of the my favorite quotation um, given by my root teacher. This quotation come from Kyabje um, so a vision, and through the vision, uh, Guru Rinpoche dancing, uh, one yogi dancing with, the, uh, and singing these words to Kyabje Dunyun Rinpoche. So this word actually very, very uh, authentic for me, is really beneficial. This is the word that I read every day in the morning. Temba Tsukna Rangi Semla Tsuk Semgetingne If you are going to plant the teachings, plant them in your mind. In the depths of mind is where you will find Buddha. If you are going to search out pure lands, purify your deluded clinging to the ordinary, delightful pure lands right, right neck beside you. Rouse diligence when it comes to practicing the essential teachings. Whoever reach accomplishment without practice. Your own woes faults are difficult for you to see. To expose your faults is a single most vital piece of advice. As your negative aspects fall away one by one, your positive side will grow and flourish evermore. I don't think so. I need to explain this. It's very clear. Please, this is one of the essence. Just read this. Remind yourself. I do this every day. So, when I begin my journey in the Bajayana path, they have called they have called accumulation path, joining path, seeing path, path, and the meditated meditation path, you know, the five path. So in the Bajayana path, we we don't know which path we are in. So this is a 
composed by Njangma Kondo Rinpoche in Kusum Brigdu is the um, Thirikaya Essence Practices. Njangma Kondo Rinpoche uh, composed this in the beginning part. So I brought here today that gives you a highlight. So first, what is the accumulation path that many of us right now here? Sile ngenjung desum kungne dol lende yeche tarcho tundu nyer sagjang tarchin hingje mugu njong songnam yurdun dober chinje lop. With renunciation towards samsara and the inner swell of triple faith, with trust in the results of actions and striving towards supreme liberation. Accumulation and purification perfected, compassion and devotion mastered, grant your blessings that we may traverse the path of accumulation. So what they gives you idea, having renunciation, practicing renunciation, practicing faith, mindful on karma, to wanting to enlightenment, accumulation merit, practice compassion and devotion. Basically, this is the four foundation practice. So people who are for foundation practice, you are in the joining path. So you really need to focus and you really need to uh, mindful and very through the heart you do the correctly in the joining path, uh, accumulation path, because accumulation path is going to help you to go to the second path of the joining. Joining meaning to joining to the realization, to seeing the nature. So the, now the second path is a joining path. So that is going to be Wang Shi Yumin Tamzik Nambar Ta Kirim Ten Tok Zalung Tiglin Jong Le Shi Druba Yeso Nyamok Chu Ripened by the four empowerments, keeping pure Samaya, attaining stability in the generation stage, adept in the channels, winds and drops, the four activities and eight accomplishments mastered through experience, grant your blessings that we may traverse the fourfold path of joining. So some of us can be in this path right now, but I think we're not yet doing fully heartedly and knowing fully. What in joining path, you must receive empowerment and continuously receive empowerment. That is how you do it. Uh, visualizing uh, the whatever the practice you have, mainly for example, now I'm going to explain example with Guru Rinpoche. And Guru Rinpoche receiving from forehead, white color, uh, throat, red color, heart center, blue color, then combining together, together or uh, like that. Doing this uh, Guru Yoga time practice in the four foundation is the most important in doing every day because of this is the four empowerment receiving every day in the path. So receiving four empowerments, pure keeping the pure samaya then practicing the generation stages is the developing stage visualization stage is this is the maha yoga practices correctly and the channel and the wind and drops is the anu yoga practice so many of us in uh, some of us we are here now path but we are not doing fully um um uh, complete, uh, through completion yet in this joining. So many of us, we are in a joining path. So this, that's why this is give you highlight of the five path easily. Now we're going to the uh, third level. Kadak rang nang rimi gong sal zok lundup uwasara nangwa tse la pep de dong yi shi nang ba tam je ba tong gom lam sang do bar chin je Perfecting the power of realization of the unbiased experience of primordial purity, visions of luminosities, spontaneous presence reaching their fullest extent, and replete with the universal wisdom of bliss and emptiness, 
grant your blessings that we may traverse the wondrous path of seeing and meditation. I know it's very confusing. So you all try to understand now what they're talking about here. Basically, the uh, perfecting the power of realization of unbiased experience of parametric purity. This is actually talking about nature of mind practicing. Okay, this is actually talking about teacher, the nature of mind, recognition, Mahamudra or Dzogchen. Okay, vision of luminosity spontaneously present, uh, reaching their uh, uh, full ex extent is actually talking about Tegel visionary practice, the, Dzog, the second part of the Dzogchen path. So basically the Dzogchen path is the path of the seeing and a path of the uh, meditation. Okay, in the five path, this is the two path go into Dzogchen. So this is uh, in the Vajrayana practice, this is to give you the idea of the path, okay? So because of some of you saying, oh Rinpoche, I'm doing Dzogchen now, so I'm already in a seeing path, I'm sorry, no because you're not completely perfected the developing stage in the uh, thing. Just practicing Dzogchen does not mean you are in a seeing path. Seeing path means you need to recognize, you need to be familiarized, the nature of mind, you need to have a 100% confident in nature of mind, and you need to know how to maintain it without any difficulty. Then you are beginning of seeing path. So Dr. Trukujan Rinpoche said, you can see, the, uh, you can maintain a nature state for one hour, not disturbed. Then that is the equivalent of seeing path. So that means that that means we are not yet in seeing path. Okay, thank you. So Lamjuru Drew Rinzin Nambashi, Tarjin Dimye Kunsan Chenye, Melup Songju Kusum Mondo Juru. The four with the other levels, the paths, fruition perfected. The two obscurations purified, the twofold knowledge unfolded, and the unity of no more learning, the three kayas manifest. So basically, you go into this journey correctly, you're going to be enlightened in this lifetime, or next lifetime, or seven lives' time. So I have here this written here, so I'm not going to explain much. Uh, this is going to be available in a Samye site, the nine yana path of study. So we're going to, our team, we're going to work hard to, um, they're going to work very hard to put slowly by slowly in Samye, all the nine yana in the future. We're going to have soon. And tradition in Bajarana path, we have very good uh, hondu practices. And uh, slowly we have, uh, uh, I already mentioned before, that uh, I'm actually going to teach Lamri uh, and uh, in the future. So uh, uh, tradition in Bajarana path, but many of you should focus hondu very nicely. Hondu is the most important part. And uh, and, and then uh, the traditional bhajana path, you will be focused Maha Yoga, and uh, then Anu Yoga and Ati Yoga. So, just to here now, I don't want to jump so fast because these things the is quite important. In the bhajana, the secret side. It's a very, very important for individual practice and for the Vajrayana overview of the Vajrayana. The secret sites has kept and revised by the Vajrayana practitioner is going to be benefit the Vajrayana practitioners, the Vajrayana Tantra te teachings going to be flourish, the disciple going to be successful in their practice, the secret side to maintain and secret side, side to, um, how you say, uh, kept as a practice, a life is very important. And I don't hear much these days um, uh, 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 information there in the world that is so important to keep. Like myself, 
the Chuchu Lingba reveal the 25 site of Guru Rinpoche in, in the Kham area in Eastern Tibet. In the 12 or 13 of them, they don't have no Guru Rinpoche statue in these places. So um, uh, we, I, we already sent six statues of Guru Rinpoche at the size of four feet in Tibet already. So we're going to send more six, seven of statue going to be sent it to put the, all the secret sites, sites in Tibet where Guru Rinpoche stay meditated and, and hidden the teachings and Chuju Lingba revealed 150 years ago. Likewise, in the generally Vajayana, the mountain, the places is where the Vajayana began. In a seven chapter supplication of Guru Rinpoche, the Mount Malaya in Sri Lanka, where the Vajayana of Maha Yoga and Anu Yoga began, especially Anu Yoga, Vajayana began there. That's why the Mount Malaya is a very secret. Where the uh, Vajayana and Guru Rinpoche birthplace, the Udiyana, nowadays in Pakistan, Swat Valley, where the Buddha Shakyamuni enlightened and going to be enlightened, all the, all the future Buddhas is a Buddha Gaya. Where Mahanguru Padma Sambhava achieved the higher realization of Mahamudra Vidyadhara is Asura cave in Nepal. And Guru Rinpoche established the Vajrayana teachings now, they exist in the world. The Vajrayana flourishing in the world, throughout the world, complete Vajrayana of Mahayoga, the Anu Yoga, the Ati Yoga is Samyaya Monastery. So, because of the Vajrayana teaching is complete now in the world, you can see there's some Vajrayana portion in Japan, some Vajrayana teaching in Nepal, Newari traditions, and should be somewhere in other countries, little bit small ones. But this kind of Goya Garba Tantra, Tantra teachings, practicing empowerment, lineages, you know, this kind of vast expansion of the knowledge of Vajrayana is only right now in Tibet, in Himalayan mountains, such as Nepal and other countries, uh, Mongolia, a little bit, Bhutan and India. So all this come from where? The, our dear master, Mahanguru Padma Sambhava establishment of Samye Monastery in Tibet. That's why our platform called Samye, because of that reason, okay? So now here, the Plaza Lords, our team, the Padma Samba, our um, the group, the team, work so hard, our team work so hard to bring the Mahanguru Padma Samba, all the his sites that they following in the footstep of Nepal, India, in Tibet, where the Guru Rinpoche practiced, began, learned, meditated, and he gave the teachings. These are three books going to be continuous. We already have the book number one, the footstep, the following in your footstep. The Lotus Born Guru in Nepal is already out there. Look for this book. Now this year, 2021, following in your footstep of Lotus Bone Guru, India is going to come. Now you're going to see the secret sites, it's so important. And one year later, the following in the, your footstep of Lotus Bone, Tibet is going to, already going to come in that one year later. So the Great Tertun is already exist book, have the lineage master of Suju Lingba, pure vision, practices, Guru Rinpoche life stories, going to be very compressed. Look for this book and please read this book. Our team will already launch our app called Nekor. Nekor actually means circling the secret site. So right now, this Nekor focusing only Guru Rinpoche, 
but near future, we're going to bring up eight great channels, eight Buddha's places, eight uh, four Dakini places in Nepal, Nepal, and different different places, secret sites that is important to go and practice to be enhanced and dispel our obstacles going to be shown in this app. Look for this app, iPhone or Android. You can actually download it. Please download it for you yourself, for you. And we're going to add more and more information there. Right now, this have full information of Guru Rinpoche in Nepal. So download, please ask all your friends to download. Really, I'm not joking to you. It's a very, very benefit. This whole thing we did because of for you to go to the secret side and have knowledge of everything, not need to listen to some um, um, wrong information all the time you hear when you go to the different secret sites. I always hear this wrong information. So after this, circling the secret sites, and I want to say today my talk of Bajayana is finished. I know that many of you uh, keep coming towards my talk and I'm very, very happy that I try to do my best but the journey and the practice is very important. The practice is important in the future, near future. Um, I see you guys and teachings, but not now. After 2022 May. And uh, so I, I can able to offer this series of teachings because of uh, my dear father Rinpoche. So now I have one more um, uh, explanation is the last Tsombum, Guru Rinpoche Day Tsombum is uh, 22nd February. So that time I'm going to explain a little bit, then that is going to be my last. Then we have uh, 27 River Sanchu is going to be the uh, Tsang, then we finish him. So we have 22 Tsombum of Tiri Root, and 26 we have Lama Nola is the wealth puja. So you have a wealth bus, you can keep in the wealth bus in wherever which country you are. And we're doing this puja for bring the wealth to each of you to increase your fortunes and improvement in your well, uh, living standards that we know that is struggling, so many people are struggling in the world. And the last 27, River Sancho is going to be the cleansing, the last cleansing, and all the medicine for the disease and all the different difficulty removed and all the medicine can come to all of you. And I wish all of you be happy, most important, and healthy, and please focus your practice and no matter what, encourage yourself and encourage other into the path and uh, take care of yourself. And I am sending many my love and prayers to you all. Thank you and take care. Okay. By the way, when I'm in a practicing retreat, I do practice every morning, protecting and receiving, granting, uh, granting, uh, receiving blessings from Guru Rinpoche to you all. I do uh, like this, or oh, people who come to my talks, people who came, uh, practitioners, their families, friends, then uh, protection of Guru Rinpoche, right hand Vajra, uh, visualizing 
each of you under the Guru Rinpoche right hand Vajra protecting in the, the Kabbalah uh, left hand Kabbalah nectar for uh, you know uh, completely falling down to all the people that I know people who are supporting the activities students uh, family members of theirs, parents, our teams, uh, uh, all of you under there and uh, receiving blessings. So I do always every day morning like this. Okay, thank you. Take care. Sending many, many love to you all. Thank you.